Welcome back YouTube. Today we're taking a look at another antiquarian book that I purchased from abbooks.com. This is Virgil's The Aeneid. It's quarter bound in black leather with the green buckram sides here. What's really nice about this, if you can see in the camera, yeah, you see that this green side is actually embossed with Virgil's name and, and embossing decoration around it. Quarter bound leather. Uh, it does have some wear, as you can tell, uh, on the leather, it is has an embossed uh, floral type design. Uh, you can see here it says Virgil's Aeneid books one to six with vocabulary, and this is uh, translated by Greenboro, uh, Greeno, and Kitridge, and it's by the Gin and Company. It's bound by Gin and Company. So if we open it up, uh, I just got I got this from abbooks.com. The seller was. Um, Caddish Head Books, as you can see there, and their information is there over here. You can just pause the screen, it'll be in the description below as well. So, this particular volume is from, let me just try to find the date. First we'll look at this and then we'll see if we can find the date on here. So, uh, you can see Virgil, the Aeneid. Uh, the Greater Poems of Virgil, this is Volume 1, first six books of the Aeneid. Um, and you can see, edited by uh, Greeno and Kitridge, Gin and Company. Uh, sorry, I said at the beginning, translation. Um, the, it, this text is all in Latin, so there is no translation here. Uh, but we'll look through it and you'll see it's unique. It's This is actually pretty interesting. This sheet here is its own photo paper here, and you have a colored... Uh, photo says the death of Icarus here So pretty cool uh, Let's see here. So this is from 1895 uh, this particular volume we have the preface here in English So talking about the introduction here Virgil's work Virgil's fame so on and so forth uh, And then we're gonna get to the actual text itself. We have a nice map of the Mediterranean here and the voyage of Aeneas, you can see uh, him starting off here in Troia, going around, down here, Crete, all the way up to Macedonia, to the bottom of Italy, around Sicily, and to um, Western Italy there. Both on its own, uh, both these papers here are their own photo paper, nice and thick. And then we here, we have the Aeneid books one to book six. Nice photos throughout. Yes, we have a little bit here. And then we start with the full Latin text. Really awesome, they put the numbering in the sides, really great. I love how they're, they scattered uh, illustrations throughout the text, which is really cool. As you can see there, numbering. We have the Temple of Augustus here. More illustrations on almost every page. Just miss one there. This is a really nice text. Everything is very clean. The papers are spotless here. Nice and smooth. Text is nice and crisp as well. For its age, it's a really nice addition. Continue through. And then uh, we'll skip to the back here. We have notes back here, which is, uh, which is a nice addition. And we have vocabulary as well. The Latin with the English, which is really useful. And that's it. Then we have the plain end papers there and the plain back. So that was Virgil's Aeneid, book one to six with vocabulary. Uh, that's from abbooks.com. I have another few antiquarian book videos uh, coming up soon, so keep tuned with the Leather Library's YouTube channel. Don't forget to rate, to comment, and to subscribe. And as always, guys, keep on reading.